or not. Why did I just turn Australian? I just sat on the palette. Okay, that was no bueno. I am back with my hair straightened, guys. Uh, just because it's straightened doesn't mean it looks good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a very, very, very exciting video. I have never been more pumped to film for y'all in my life or in my YouTube career. As you know or may not know, James Charles recently released a palette with Morphe. And as y'all know, if you've been following my channel for a while, I am in love with James Charles and I love makeup. So those two together meant I absolutely had to get the Artistry palette and I decided to try it out for you guys so that you guys can see if you wanna buy it too. As a true sister, I'm wearing my sister's hoodie, but don't think that because of that, this review will be biased. I will give you all my absolute honest opinions on the palette and I will also try out an eye look for you guys. So yeah, my parents got this for me last night for hitting 25K on YouTube. I want to thank them so much and I also want to thank you guys so much because right now I think I hit like 28k yesterday So you guys have been absolutely killing it. Thank you all so much like without your support I literally wouldn't be where I am right now and you guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much All right. Oh, okay I got it last night and I haven't even opened it yet. So yeah, on the front it just says Morphe X James Charles and this gorgeous minimalistic handwriting. And then in the corner it just says the James Charles palette and artistry palette. And then on the back when you turn it over it says, hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my palette. I love glam but I also have a huge passion for crazy colorful outside of the box makeup and I created this palette with that in mind. I included every beautifully formulated shade necessary to create literally any look you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. Oh, okay, that is so cute. So yeah, that is what the packaging looks like and let's open it up. Oh my God, you guys have no idea how excited I am. Here it is in all its glory. Just kidding, here it is in all its bubble wrap. Oh my God, I already have fingerprints on it. This is not good. The big reveal. Here is the Morphe X James Charles palette. Just like on the outside packaging, it says it on the palette. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it also says it right here. The packaging, really nice. It is a ginormous palette, the biggest I have. And now to open it. Here is the gorgeous palette. It has this film on it with all the shade names and I am beyond excited to dip into this. On the top it says, unleash your inner artist. I think that is so cute and oh my God, you guys. Let's zoom in on this palette real quick. 39 gorgeous shades. So the top two rows, you have your warmer tone shades. Here you have your highlighters and transition shades. And then here you have your more colorful shades. And honestly, I can't wait. So today I'm going to be playing with some of the more warm toned shades in this palette because I know that Oh my god, my finger accidentally like dipped into the shade T and look at how pigmented that is. Oh my god. I'm gonna be playing with some of the more warm tones, so basically these three rows right here today. Because a lot of the reviews and tutorials out there focus on the bottom two rows, which I think is amazing, right? The whole reason I bought this palette is because it has literally every single color of the rainbow and I love that James is doing that for the beauty industry, but I think what a lot of people are forgetting is that this palette includes a ton of beautiful warm and neutral shades as well so that is what I'm gonna be playing with and demonstrating for you guys today and I'm sure you guys have noticed but I've already done my base makeup except for the highlighter because this palette has a gorgeous highlighter that I'm gonna try out for you guys so yeah everything is done except for my highlighter and obviously my eyes because that is what we're going to be testing out today first impressions about the palette in general it is absolutely gorgeous Leak. It's not too heavy actually for its size. I think it's a good weight and I think that it is super pigmented But we will never know unless we actually put it on our eyes 
So let's go do that. Oh yeah, and I also washed all my brushes last night so y'all wouldn't have to see some crusty brushes today. The last time I did a makeup video, it was when I recreated James Charles and Kylie Jenner's Halloween skull tutorial. You can click up there to watch it. I didn't wash my makeup brushes and they were kind of crusty, so I didn't want you guys to see crusty brushes and I wanted to go into this palette with fully clean makeup brushes so you guys could see how it truly performs. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into testing the palette. All right, y'all, so this is your setup. Basically, you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing in this mirror, so yeah. So I have all my clean brushes ready to go and we are going to start with highlighter. All right, so this highlighter shade is called Face. So let's apply it. I have to take off my glasses for this. Oh, guys, look at that. That is so, so, so pretty. This is what it looks like on my wrist. Gorgeous. Oh my God. Boop, boop, boop. It's super pretty, but I don't think it's as intense as I expected. Oh yeah, okay, I changed my brush. Now it's turning out a lot better. I just took a normal Luxie brush and whoo. That is bright, guys. I am glowing. That is too much. I never put this much highlight. Can you guys see? My face is like, oh, holy guacamole. There you go. Now you guys can see. My face is glowing. All right. That's a little scary. I am also going to be putting a layer of setting powder because I've heard that there is fallout for this palette. So I never really use setting powder because I'm never actually like wearing foundation for long periods of time. But we are going to be putting it on today just so that I protect my foundation and any fallout can be easily brushed away. And then we'll brush it away before we do the eyeshadow in the under eyes. The last thing we are going to do in terms of preparation for testing out the eyeshadow palette is using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and putting it on the eyelids because James said that the eyeshadows work best when you use some sort of primer on the lid and he knows his palette best. All right, you guys, so now we are finally ready to dip into the palette itself and we are going to be starting out with this shade in the top left corner called Canvas. And this is just going to be our base shade for the eyeshadow itself. Self. To start out, we are going to be using this shade right here called Mary. This is going to be our transition shade. I was going to use the shade Pinkity Drinkity, but since I'm a little bit like darker skinned, it didn't really show up on my face. So we are going to be going with Mary. And yeah, just pop that in the crease since it is our transition shade. And guys, oh my God, this is literally so pigmented. I am getting giving this shade a 9.5 out of 10. Where it loses the 0.5 is the fallout, but that is definitely not a deal breaker because all palettes have fallout. So yeah, this shade is absolutely gorgeous. All right, next we are going to be taking this red as our darker color. It's called You're Kidding. And just putting it on the outside and really blending it downwards into the lash line and then blending it in to the crease. Wow, okay you guys, this blends beautifully. Oh my God. So I keep hearing that the darker shades in this palette are a little bit harder to blend, but honestly, like I'm not feeling it at all. What I'm doing is I'm just packing it right here and then slowly spreading it out and blending it towards the lower lash line. And then after we cut the crease, it's gonna look really, really cool because you have all this like pink on the inside and a pop of red on the outside of your eyes. And then now we're just gonna be dipping right back into Mary to make sure that that color isn't lost underneath your kidding. Oh my God, I'm in love with these shade names. All right guys, now we are going to be using this brush from Jones New York and a little bit of my Everyday Concealer, which is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer. And we are going to be cutting the crease. I don't cut my crease too often, so let's hope this turns out well. And now that 
my crease is cut. We are going to be quickly, while the concealer is still wet, dipping into this gorgeous shimmer shade right here and plopping it in the cut crease. Let's see, what's this shade called? This shade is called Shook. So we are going to be grabbing Shook and just popping her in the crease. And oh my God, guys. Oh, it looks so good. It's gorgeous. Next, we're gonna be grabbing this shade right here called Wig and just placing a little bit over top of the other shimmer just to give it that little finish. It looks amazing. Now let me just cut my other crease and do the same thing and I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm back with both eyes done and oh my God, it's a stunner. What is on my glasses? Oh, there's some setting spray on my glasses. That's fine. All right, so now we are just going to be taking this big brush and just like brushing in the baking slash setting powder that we put in before. There was really not that much fallout, which I'm pretty happy about, other than with the shade Mary, as I was telling you guys before. Now for underneath the eye, we are just going to be taking the same two colors that we have on the top just so that it stays consistent. And we have your kidding right there. And then we are going to be taking our other brush and taking Mary and putting it right below. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fallout. Ba-bam. There you go. And that is the eye. And then for the little inner corner, I'm going to be taking a tiny Luxie 215 five brush and just looking at this shade right here called ring light and I'll be popping that ooh in the inner corner oh my god that is bright sis that is gorgeous for the inner corner guys and then now we are just going to be putting on some liner So I'm going to be now putting on some mascara. I just curled my lashes and after that, we are going to be putting on some falsies. Yeet! I will literally never do that again. I'm sorry. I will be doing an overall review at the end. These are MAC lashes in the style 101 and they are just black. I've already trimmed them and everything. And then I'm just taking an eyelash applicator. I'm taking my little eyelash adhesive. <laughs> enjoyed watching this video. I think the eye look turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. This palette overall gets a nine out of 10. Just like a last review, I love the packaging. As you can see, there is some fallout. You can see around like where I dipped into these shades. There is some powder around it, but literally nine points for pigmentation. All this creativity, all these colors in one huge beautiful palette, I'm in love. I cannot wait to play with this purple color and if you guys want more tutorials on this palette make sure to tell me because I had literally so much fun unleashing my inner artist with this palette. This is the first time I have ever gone this like all out on a look. I never put this much on my eyes but I am enjoying it so much so tell me if you guys want some more colorful looks with this palette. But yeah before you go just make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button turn on post notifications and follow me on Instagram at everything Arushi, Twitter at Arushi's channel and Facebook at Everything Arushi. And the song of the week for this week is Close To Me by Ellie Golding. It is such a good song. I've been vibing out to it. I've been jamming out to it for the past week or so. So you guys should totally check it out. It is an amazing song. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>